So we've all got pinch points in our life. I guess where we can get solutions is through teams, networks, filtering good ideas, structured conversations. In my opinion, coaching is not hard. It's just taking time to practice the art of listening and the art of asking good questions and then creating the people around you who feel trusted enough to open up and share those problems so we can help construct solutions together. Life in a kind of phase methodology. I guess when you look at the PDF on the screen, um, that that first page could be spaced out over two or three years you know, to transform school cultures and have all teachers taking part in coaching. There's lots of logistics that have to be factored in alongside the day-to-day -day life of teaching teaching lessons. So I now work with some schools who, you know, not just from my, my own work, but where they are is all teachers receive coaching and there's a core group of teachers who are coaches and the, and the lesson observations now start on a blank piece of paper, but have a clear focus before I go into class. And if I'm not observing you in the lesson and I'm observing you as a line manager in your day-to-day -day work, there's still a clear focus in place before we start to critique your appraisal. I guess the last point, um, when you thread into appraisal school priorities and you have staff thread in their own research methods, you can get staff really engaged with appraisal where, you know, hands up if you like appraisal performance management, ask no school leader ever because the hands always drop down. But I now work with schools where hands go up because we're in a position where the culture has been fixed. And if I pop back to that accountability versus absence slide and autonomy where we're always trying to get teachers in the middle of autonomy, if you put me in a corner, leadership that puts teachers' conversations at the heart of pedagogy, they protect fiercely teacher and learning conversations on a regular basis. And I'd probably say weekly or fortnightly at least, to talk about explicit things in the classroom, school aspects of life, and allow good ideas to filter to the top. Uh, and there's a lot more to it, but th those are the kind of key messages. So.